Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 50. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be taking part in the 20 minute Apricot Hill Raceway Challenge. We're going to be taking this, the BMW Z4 GT3 from 2011. And what we're going to be doing today, Apricot Hill, round the track, 20 minutes. Um, so the performance points is 650 or less. So we've put in a... I think a stage three and a mid-ranged um, turbocharger instead of the high range, so it should be a little bit better. And it's got a 95% performance limiter as well, just to get it just below that um, 650. Uh, typical cars: uh, GT by Citroen, Audi R8 Le Mans car, and the Lamborghini Diablo. Interesting. Uh, 90,000 credits if we come first place. Let's do this. So this uh, has weather changing and daylight changing too. Um, well, time progression. Here we go. Apricot Hill Raceway. So we are going against two McLaren F1s, Ford Falcon, Skyline GTR R34. We got Mercedes CLK Touring Car, Challenger SRT8, uh, an R33 and an R8 Le Mans as well. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, a couple more R8s, Corvettes, a uh, GTR race car. I thought that said pace car then. Um, and a super touring car from the Impreza. Nice. Right, here we go. We are at Apricot Hill Raceway. Let's do this. 24 hours in the BMW Z4. Second attempt, actually. First one, uh, we finished seventh. Uh, because I did a really bad, like, sort of strategy. I decided to go onto soft tyres for the last section, which is normally what I would do in games like F1. But we w had only eight minutes left, which was enough to shred the tyres within four. Um, so this time what we're going to do, hopefully if the fuel usage is okay... Uh, we should be able to do the first eight laps on hards, and then we'll go straight back into the pits. We'll fuel up for enough fuel to then do us, I think, another six laps. Oh, and we'll also have hard tyres for that stint as well. I really don't like how there are two McLaren F1s in this, though. They are overpowered cars. There is no physical way this car is going to catch up with them. Come on, out of the way. Perfect. And hopefully that Ford Falcon doesn't crash into us three times like it did last time. Literally, the Ford Falcon was the most toxic driver we have ever came across in the last race. Oh, and the Audi R8 managed to spin out twice as well. Very nice.
Do not black screen me today. Thank you. Here we go. Here we go. Get past the BMW if we can. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. There is a large group of cars of seven plus cars that have just come out of the hairpin. So once we take these two, hopefully we can take that entire group in one go. That would be amazing. Like an entire group of cars in one lap would be a perfect situation for us. Nice. Not nice. Why is the skyline pushing me off now? It's toxic as fuck. Awesome. Catching up with a Corvette now. One of that massive group of cars up ahead has split away. So, what on earth is that? There was plenty of room. You gave me room and then crashed into me. I'm so glad that shit got sorted in GT Sport. These cars don't crash into you anymore. I think the Audi's trying to lose control and spin out again. We actually ended up when uh, in the last race when that Audi did spin out. We managed to crash straight into the side of him. There we go. That's how you do it and take it safe around that corner. There's the SRT just up in front. That bright green car. Right, master of late braking coming through with the clutch. The Audi getting a load of wheel spin through there. Not a chance. You are not getting a chance to spin me out. Nice. Here is the Ford Falcon. That's karma for the last race. I don't even care. It would be nice to overtake those McLaren F1s. What are you doing?
The skyline is trying to dr follow a driving line that does not exist. Right, two more laps. I think we can fit in with the amount of fuel that we have. Um, that is all we can actually fit in, I think. 26 seconds behind, so we have gained... Perfect. Keep it under control. We know you've not got as much grip, but try not to ruin it for us again. Stupid tires. Perfect. Uh, one car has gone into the pits. That's one of the McLarens. Uh, and I have a feeling they'll probably end up taking a two-stop method. No, 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 no. Oh, that was not great. That was not fair. I didn't even cut the corner. Though at least it's not as bad as GT Sport. That penalty system is disgusting. Fuck! Get back, get back, get back. The game was like, don't you dare diss our penalty system. This is the final lap we're going to be doing on this stint anyways. Right, here we go. Coming into the pits. I think that car's coming into the pits as well. Here we go. Right, we are going for racing hards and we are filling up with fuel. Let's go. Come on, we need to be quick with the fuel. Quick with the fuel. Car in front is getting their tyres sorted out as well. Oh yeah, there's no um, camera movement, is there? Ah, oh, the Nissan made it out just in front of us. He's going to accelerate away. Right, first corner very nicely done there. Basically, we need to rely on the back markers which haven't pitted yet. Or that might have pitted already. To slingshot us forward uh, in front of the cars that have already pitted. Unbelievable. Right, come on. 
one minute and seven seconds behind first place. That means that McLaren F1 hasn't pitted yet. Holy shit. He just came and like swerved into my car there. Assisted me around that corner. Right. I'm always terrible with that first corner, but this these um S bends I'm really good at. I love these S bends. Wait, the McLaren's already pitted. Shit. He's not going to pit again as well. Which means we are not going to be getting first place, guaranteed. Ugh. How do you get first place in this? This is like the second attempt I've done. Right, that is good. Those cars haven't pitted yet. They must be due a pit. As you know, those cars have pitted. They definitely have pitted because that's the Nissan that was just in front of us that went in before us. Okay. That was terrible. Like, I'm not even going to deny it. That was just terrible. For once as well, on this uh, stint, our rear right tyre is doing more work than the rear front tyre for some reason. Though, I remember in the last race, the McLaren F1s did take an extra pit stop, I think. Or, well, I do remember a car going into the pits very late. Perfect. Right, we are now in the final three minutes of this race. And I think there is one of the McLarens in the pit lane right now. Yes, there is. That is one of the McLarens. Let's see if we can catch him. Before he comes out. Right, he's at the pit exit now. Ah! I forgot we need to be very cautious with our braking at the moment.
That's not a McLaren. Is that the car that's in second then? Bollocks! That might be the last place car. Oh no, I thought I had my hopes up. We will wobble through there. I mean, as long as I get top three, I don't care. At the start of the series, it was like, oh yeah, I wanted to get all stars on everything, but I don't think it's going to happen. Genuinely, like, I'm still going to be playing this game, like, after the series. Guaranteed. Gran Turismo 7 should probably be out very soon. Awesome. No. I'm not having you sabotage my race and take away my crown. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Final lap is done. Champion. I feel like if I was to redo that and I was to put in 70 litres of fuel instead of 97, like uh, we did this time, I feel like we could have got that extra time and been able to get that second place um, because the pit stop takes about 30 seconds, so that would have given us enough time to actually be able to push. Um, that was a very good race. Not a lot of money though, because of the fact that we failed <laughs> big time. If I get another McLaren F1, right, in the next race, oh my god, I'm going to be so mad. Like, if I get a McLaren F1, like that, that's just ridiculous absolutely ridiculous so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like comment down below and subscribe if you want to keep up to date on the mechanic cg channel then be sure to check out the description for our social links we've got twitter discord and instagram if you want to go check all of those out uh, if you want to help support the channel make sure to hit that join button or you can go and grab yourself some merch either would mean the world to me but thank you guys so much for watching Peace.